What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm going to be cleaning all three of my cages and how I clean them. Everyone that owns a hamster does it differently, but I'll be showing you the step by step on how I clean them. Um, we have Mickey, Moose, and Mugs here. We have Moose right here. We have Mickey right here. He's in the corner over there. Oh, Mugs. Um, I had them in actual tanks. Like these are for lizards or frogs or whatever. I don't even know. But I put them in tanks because the cages with like the bars, the metal bars, they can actually escape from them. And a lot of people complain about that, but that's why I use these. Um, I clean them about every 14 days so about like two weeks that might seem like it's like very fast or whatever or too soon since there's three of them it starts to smell even worse because three times the amount of so i'll also be showing you the step size steps but also the um supplies that i use for them before we get started don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more hamster stuff i left a poll on my community section you can't comment on it which sucks but you can um do the poll i asked what video you want to see this week and it was a hamster video so you're gonna to have to be more specific on what hamster video you want to see so you can go on my instagram or my snapchat right here i dm everyone back this week's video will be doing a cleaning my hamster video <laughs> cleaning my hamster cleaning my hamster's cages video and step by step and now let's get started so the supplies i use is this bedding not specifically by this brand. This one's the All Living Things one. But this one is the 14 day odor control. So it like helps not smell as bad. And on the back of it, it actually so shows how many beddings you can change with them. So I obviously have to take them all out of their cages to clean them. So I use this thing from PetSmart. It is a like racetrack. It was in my video when I was training my hamsters. That's also gonna be in the iCard above if you haven't watched it. Uh, it's like you put the balls on it and then they can like roll around on it <laughs> Like that so I put I have two of them I can put one in here and one in the other one and I also have like tubes and stuff I build real random maze things with these attaches here. So there can be a long um, Maze for them to go through so let me put them all in their activity stuff and then we can get started We'll start off with moose this is moose he's the biggest out of all three of the hamsters even though they're all dwarf hamsters he's going to be going in the clear bigger ball he's usually not as hard to get out of the cages most of them are scared but he um is a lot easier actually so it's kind of hard to show you but let me turn it around there he is right there Usually he goes in here and I can just take him out. Here is Moose. Their fur, both um, him and his like brother Mugs, they're both getting, they're starting to get black fur and they're, oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so here is Moose. He'll go in this one. And then I'll just set these aside and get all of them in their stuff. Mugs is one of the smallest, but I think Mickey is way smaller. Here he is. He is also starting to get black fur on his back side of him. And last but not least is Mickey. <laughs> Here is Mickey. Before he jumps out, I'm going to put him in his ball. And there is Mickey. So the next thing I would do is take out all the stuff in their cages and um, set them aside into groups of which hamsters are which. So these are Mickey's, so they've grown in Mickey's pile. This is Moose's, you go in Moose's pile. I think you know what's next. Once that's done, I now got a trash bag. So here is all of their stuff. Once I get to their food, I just dump it in the trash can part. Let me know in the poll above 
if you have a hamster, then I grab their entire cage, kind of heavy, and I place it on the trash bag and then dump it. One, two. Okay, this is the actual part when you start cleaning them. I usually use paper towels and Clorox wipes, but we're out of Clorox wipes and this is the exact same thing as Clorox wipe, just in liquid form. Um, I would just spray it all down and then wipe it with the paper towels. So let's do that first for all of them. Once I've cleaned all of the cages, um, I'm like scared of the fumes or whatever. So I just grab paper towels again and soak them in water and then wash the cages all over again. So let's do that. Okay, after all of the cages are done, I'm going to wash every single toy and food dish that they have and refill the waters. First, I wipe them with the Clorox wipes and then I dry them off and then I wash them with water and dry them off. So let's do that. Now I'm wiping everything off again just with water. Welcome to my bathroom where I'm going to be filling up all three of their waters. They each have turtles in them to see how much water is in there. So it'd be like this. And just like that we have all three filled water bottles ready to get dry oh. Oh. okay we have all three water bottles oh my the last thing to do is to fill them up with the stuffing sit back and relax and listen sit back and relax and listen to the music as i pour the stuff in <laughs> Okay, so I just now finished filling all of them and now I'm going to be rearranging them so but first I have to make their foods. I will be showing you how I make their foods. This brand right here is what they use in the actual pet stores where I'm it's like the oxbow ones and I also have a giant bag of other foods. So let's go ahead and make them. Each get one of these. Now, they always eat these, so they get like a ton of these. Moose, Muggs, and Mickey. Mickey's a tiny one because he's a huge cage and he actually doesn't eat that much compared to both of them. The only thing left to do for Mickey's is fill up his sand bath. He's the only one that does sand baths. Um, mostly all hamsters use them, but not the other ones because they didn't like show the signs that they actually need them. So I pour a whole cup of sand in here. If you don't know what a sand bath is, most hamsters have to get their like, it's something about the oil on their skin. You can't bathe them in water, so they bathe themselves in actual sand. And this is what the sand looks like. They just, um, Mickey like flops around in it or whatever, but he also poops in it. It's almost like a litter box for hamsters, to be honest. Now we can rearrange their cages. We will start off with Mickey's cage. Okay, for Mickey's cage, he always uh, has the purple house. So that goes in the corner. Also, this chewing thing, because they all need them to chew on for their teeth. Because their teeth grow, we have another burger up there. His wheel goes in the far corner. Make sure it spins. Food goes right in the middle, along with his sand bath. And I find his name, Mickey, right here. Put it right in the hole and lock that in place. 
one cage is complete. Next we have Muggs's cage. He uses this wheel, which I need to get a new one because it's starting to look disgusting. Make sure it spins. We have his house. He loves his house. And his food. And his waterer. Yep. Along with a chew toy. This is Muggs's cage. And last but not least, we have Moose. Moose uses this purple wheel. Make sure it spins. We have this house for him, along with his food. And last but not least, his water. And this is Moose's cage. For each of their cages, I actually put a toilet paper roll in here because they chew on it so much to, and it also helps their uh, teeth grow, or not grow, actually. I also forgot to put this in Moose's, so. And now we put them in their cages. <laughs> First put mugs in his cage so I can break this apart and get him out easier here is moose I mean nope here is mugs see his black fur on top let's put him in there Here is Mickey, he is super tiny. Here we got Moose. Oh, there's a lot of poop in there. And here is Moose. You can also see his black fur. this video of all three of my hamsters let me know if you want to see any more videos with them they're actually so fun oh mickey's hungry so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the poll above if you want to see any more hamster videos or in my poll on my community section i will post another one to see what video you want to see next week sorry i haven't been very active if you want to say that because it's because i have no idea what to post and i want to post good content for you guys that you actually want to watch instead of wasting my time editing stuff that no one wants to watch or let me know on my instagram or snapchat what kind of hamster videos you want to see in the future
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the poll above and anything and subscribe for more and like this video. It really supports my channel and I will see you next time. Bye guys!